Welcome back. I want to show you how I upscaled my bathroom countertops with this product right here. So this is how the countertops looked when I first got them. So I had to clean them and then I primed them. I put two coats of prime of this. I got it from Lowe's. It was a really good primer. I would prime, so I primed, and then I let it sit for 24 hours, and then I primed again, and I let it sit for 24 hours just because I had the time. It didn't have to sit that long, but there were thin coats. I was ready to do the epoxy and the marble design. I also had this white paint from Walmart that I got for $13.30. And this product right here was really good with giving me that last finish that I hope that I wanted before I started with the epoxy. <clears throat> so I painted and coated that on while it was still wet. I started my marble design with this cheap color sampler that I got from Lowe's for literally $1.25. So we are doing this on a budget. So what I did was I would just take my paintbrush, I would take my paintbrush and dab it. I would dab it in the thing and just dab it along the lines of uh, where I, I dabbed it according to how I looked in the picture. I wanted all my lines kind of slanted. So when I first started, it was a mess. And I did not believe in myself, and I just oh, I had to keep going and going. So after a while, um, the more I did, the more it started looking like marble. When I first started out, it looked like I was making a mess, and I was kind of disheartened a little bit. Um, so, so it worked out pretty good. When I got to the end and finished the dabbing, I stepped back and I liked my progress. But I didn't see much of the vein that I wanted, so I took a little piece of the paintbrush off and I would dab that into the gray paint that I had and I would use that along um, some of the dabbing that I did to give more of the veining that I wanted for the, um, for the countertop and it really helped and made it pop to me. Um, and 
After I did that, I let that dry for five hours. Uh, and I had a lot going on. You know, it's, I'm not over here just doing the countertop all day. So when I finished, when I knew that the marble was dry and I liked um, what I had done so far, I mixed I mixed the two containers that came in here, um, and I didn't have to measure them out because they were both the same ounces. So I just poured them both into an old container, uh, laundry detergent container, I just cut the top off because I forgot to buy the mixing bowl at Home Depot. I ordered everything online, so it just, I don't know if it's still in my cart. I probably forgot to just add it. Anyway, so I poured A in, then B in, and I, had a, I have a mixer one uh, that I bought to attach to my uh, drill. So, because I mix a lot of things and do a lot of different things. So, I just uh, mix that real quick and I did mix it for five minutes, like I said. And here's the footage. So, there's lots of footage. And after I was finished mixing, I poured it on the counter where I wanted it most, and I poured half of it. So while I was smoothing it out, I was moving the container back and forth my hand because it does say that if you let it sit, it will harden it fast. So I was spreading it out and moving the container with my hand 
um, and then when I see that I had got like one in everywhere I wanted, I went back. And I tried to get it on the back lip, but it took it took me having to like spoon it up there. And it still came out really good with just one coat. I was very shocked. Um, that was the only part that looked kind of like not as glassy as the finish on the bottom. The finish on the bottom was super glassy. You'll be able to see it. Um, I have my cell phone light that I put over it. You know, it's amazing. But I can see little um, bubbles in it when I was doing my cell phone light.